happening today. You can learn hands only CPR for free today. Seven News teaming up with the American Heart Association for this important training. It's at East High School in Denver from 9 to 2. Everyone who attends will get a free CPR anytime kit. Uh, this way you can practice at home and also use it to train family and friends. You'll want to sign up in advance, but they are taking people. If you want to show up this morning, that's fine, but just try to sign up in advance if you can, just because they kind of schedule the classes that way. And for more information, you can go to our website, thedenverchannel.com, and go to the spotlight on our home page. All right, welcome back to 7 News Now Saturday morning. Two young girls from Denver moved after hearing a, a story about the suffering of other children in Africa. And now they've come up with ways to help. Katie and Layla Hollis uh, featured in the article this month of Colorado Parent Magazine with details on their work and how to get other children involved. And Katie and Layla, thank you for being here today. This is Katie and Layla right here and along with the mom, Molly. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, okay, so Molly, let's start with you. How did this idea all come about? Well, I was working with a client who was donating a lot of her time in Rwanda helping orphans. Mm -hmm. And I was so moved by the stories that I felt compelled to come home and tell Katie and Layla about them, who were four and eight at the time. They're now 10 and six. And they didn't miss a beat right away. They're like, we have to do something fun for these kids. And Katie was telling me about a fundraiser that was coming up at her school at Pirates Cove, the uh -huh. water park. And she's like, let's fly them all out and let them have a fun night. And we talked about the logistics of that. And right away she said, well, can we rent out the park? And can we have a party? And can we send all the money to Rwanda? And we did. And it was fantastic. And we did in 2011, 2012, and we just had our third annual of this year. And in three years, we've raised over $10,000 as a family for these various causes. Wow, obviously a very successful fundraiser. Katie, how old are you now I'm again? 10. 10. So a lot of people would be like, are you kidding me? A 10-year-old who volunteers and goes beyond, I mean, just beyond our own country and helping those in need that you've never met before. Why do you do this? Well, I mean, I do this because it makes me feel really great inside, just knowing you're making a difference in people's lives even though they're all the way across the globe. Um, for instance, we just brought solar lights to a high school in Burnt Forest, Kenya and just when we did it you just knew that it was definitely helping them. It must feel so good to make a difference. And Layla, how old are you again? Six. Six. So you're following your big sis, following your mom and all this. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really good inside because you you want to treat people how you want to be treated, and even though they're all the way across the world from you, you still know that they want to thank you. So you're already so smart at six years old, okay? <laughs> Some of our adults out there are not don't even think this way. So Molly, for those who may be inspired by you guys' story and want to get families involved to volunteer and maybe start their own project, maybe not necessarily yours, I mean, what's the first basic step that you need to do to kind of get your kids involved? The first thing you have to do is you have to start telling your kids about things that are happening in the world. It's not every detail, every story, but something that really tugs at you, maybe aligns with your family values. And we didn't start with Pirates Cove. You know, mm -hmm. they would have lemonade stands and they would donate the money to the cause that they were interested in at the time. They volunteered at assisted living centers. And you just, you just have to go for it. It really helps them find their place in the world and gives them a sense of empathy, something greater than sympathy. And it's, it's just a fantastic thing. You just start. And something greater than themselves in a yeah. lot of ways. It's not always just about you. I right. think it's great. Thank you for sharing your stories with us. We appreciate it. We only get to get a little snippet of their story, but you can check out their story. Thank you, Hollis family again. To read more about the projects that they're involved in and learn more about how you and your family can start volunteering, you can check out this month's Colorado Parent Magazine. Just go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. We posted a link there with more information. Click on that big red TV button for their story. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right.